There's monkeys everywhere! <laughs> Welcome to Bit From Bricks, I'm Brian, and after that scary intro, I wanted to talk about the zoo. The zoo is expanding. So I wanted to show you a little bit about future plans for the zoo. As you've seen last time, the zoo hasn't changed too much. The front entrance, which has the castle right now, is going to be replaced by the Jurassic World set. The building that came with the Jurassic World set, I cannot recall the name for now, but it's going to go here and I'm going to modify it to make it the entrance of the zoo. Moving to the center of the zoo, we have this now larger tree. If you remember before, there was a small tree there. This is part of the Ewok Village set. And I plan to take this and expand it even larger. If you've been to Disney World, you may remember the Tree of Life. If you haven't, it's really impressive to see this large, massive Tree of Life with animals carved into it. And it's just an enormous, it's a part of Animal Kingdom and it's really cool looking. So that's based off of that. It's going to be a much bigger tree and it's just kind of a focal point to the zoo. We're going to go towards the back side of the zoo now. And in the back side of the zoo, you can see I have three base plates here. And these three place plates are going to house future exhibits. One of the exhibits will be a T-Rex exhibit. T-Rex may be getting some food with a goat. We're also looking at putting in a camel exhibit as well as an ostrich exhibit. Those are a few of the animals that I have that have no homes and have been running amok in the zoo for a long time now. And they need to get in a cage. I have some new hippos coming, baby hippos that I'm designing myself as well. And an ape exhibit. I did pick up that large ape, which last time you may remember he was sitting on top of the lookout tower of the dinosaurs, and he needs his own exhibit as well. And him and his monkey friends will be in their own exhibit, and that's another section of the zoo I plan to do. There are some, um, a few other small things that I want to do, as well, a reptile house where we have snakes and other amphibians like frogs, and there's no lizards, but there's some spiders. So just kind of like that kind of small animals in a little. You know, not a touch house, but just a little house where people can walk through and see um, different reptiles, amphibians, and smaller creatures of the zoo. So that was my mini zoo update. There's a lot of changes coming, a lot of fixes on existing parts. I want to customize and like just get a little bit more clean builds on parts of it so I can pull it, to, pull it apart easier in a few sections. But most of it slides apart pretty easily. It's a fun build. A lot of people love it. The kids really love it. They like picking out the little things I hide in the zoo. So little hidden things, and we'll do a scavenger hunt one day for that as well. So that was the zoo update. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And check us out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube at Built From Bricks, as well as our sister site, The Bricks Hub. And live each Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live stream. You never know what we're doing there. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? <laughs>